WTA, welcome to the Shorthorn After Dark, and here are your top stories for February 24th, 2010. If you walked around campus Wednesday, you may have caught a glimpse of some of the homecoming activities taking place. With the resounding boom at noon, homecoming 2010 officially kicked off. If you weren't there to see it, chances are you probably heard it if you were in the area. Soon after, the third annual golf cart parade started near the bookstore, featuring 35 different campus organizations, each decorated to show off their school pride. Here's some of the highlights from the festivities. Off Wednesday's events, the men's basketball team took on Lamar in the homecoming game. The Shorthorn sports editor Clint Utley gave us a recap from Texas Hall. The other big event on campus was the career fair in the MAC. More than 1,500 students and alumni scouted out the job market. Career services invited over 100 employers, including 24-hour fitness and farmers insurance. Some students told the Shorthorn what they thought of this year's fair. Uh, to gain uh, some experience uh, through a job fair, this is my first job fair to get to know some employers who this summer I will be graduating, so I just want to get familiar with some employers, see how uh, the companies work, and see who's hiring, who's offering the best benefits and the best pay and everything else. It's difficult to get a job online, I suppose, so I think uh, this might be a good opportunity to find a job over here. Uh, yeah, I have been uh, to a couple of job fairs at UTA, and uh, the job fair has been really nice. Uh, uh, the calls have been coming. Uh, let's see. Let's hope for some good thing to come out. If you wanted to find out more about what your professors are researching, then you may have had your last chance of the semester. As part of the Focus on Faculty Speaker Series, Art and Art History Associate Professor Mary Vaccaro talked about and showed slides of 16th century drawings, including Leonardo da Vinci's drawing of The Last Supper. Now, this is a period in which artists seem to have increasingly valued drawings as a way to develop their ideas for pictorial compositions. We're working on these stories and more. Be sure to pick up a copy of The Shorthorn on Racks Across Campus Thursday or log on to theshorthorn.com for extras. I'm Alana Quillen and thanks for watching The Shorthorn After Dark.